Hello everybody, Keith here again. Um, I thought I would have a look at some of the plants and just see how they're developing. Um, some just how they're generally doing and others which are perhaps a little bit more specific. Now, some of you may remember that I repotted my two um, Berrioda plants. Um, took them out of the Westland compost and put them into plain bark. Um, they weren't doing terribly well, although they'd not been potted very long, the compost didn't suit them. And I think this proves very much that if it's not happy, you shouldn't hang around um, uh, and, and keep your fingers crossed. I think instead it's a case of do the best for the plant at the time that uh, it becomes obvious. So now, instead of all the roots being up above, you can see some down there, we've got um, a new growth there which is matured properly, you've got another one coming here, and you've got this really big cake that's about ready for coming off, so if anybody fancies doing a, a swap for um, that little cakey, um, please let me know because I think that's well ready to to go. Um, this is the other one, which is doing every bit as well. In fact, it better because you can see on this one, the roots are really shot down into the pot. It's not grown as as many new growths, but certainly what's there is doing well. So I think that'll be absolutely fine. Right. Bulbophyllum, excuse me, Bulbophyllum fascinator. My only species Bulbophyllum, and I've only got two, and this is one that uh, Zana sent me in, in another plant swap. Um, this new growth had just started um, and has developed and matured nicely. Um, but it's interesting, all, I don't know how well you can see it, but all of these have got quite long rhizomes going out to the new growth. And here we've got something that's sitting right up against the previous pseudo ball. So we've already got that from it. And now we've got another one here. I hoped it was going to be a flower spike. But today I've noticed that it's just starting to open. Now I'll show you the other one in a sec. And that's one big difference with this. I know Bulbophyllum is a... I, th I think it might even be the biggest of all the orchid genera. Um, and there is a big difference, not only in size between this one and the hybrid Memoria Karen McDonald, that, I, that is the first one that I ever bought. Um, but this one has very thick, stiff leaves, and the leaves open virtually straight away. Now, if we look at this one, This is quite different, and it had me worried previously because it, of, of how it behaves. I've not had um, a new growth actually fully developed from scratch under my care until relatively recently. Now this one has three new growths, and all of them, including this one, that's the biggest by a long way, are still sealed. And that will not even try to open until it's more or less the full full length. Um, <clears throat> but it's that's doing very well. I was hoping it would flower because we've got really nice side growths on it and big leaves and what have you. Nothing so far, but we live in hope. Now then, this... I might have to do, um, I'll have to move the camera in order to, 
to see what I'm doing. Um, yeah. So, let me bring this initially into a close up and I'll zoom it in. Apologies for it uh, being a little bit uh, all over the place. Now, these are the three restrepias that I bought not all that long ago. Um, they're not an orchid I ever really thought I was going to do any good with. Um, they need humidity, they don't want a lot of heat, they don't want a lot of sunshine. So what I've done with them, as you can see, I've put them in a fish tank. Originally I was just going to put the fish tank lid on and use a, a fluorescent tube. In the end I decided that was going to be too dark. And instead I've used nothing more or less than cling film over the top. It's on gravel, which is, which is damp. So you've got very high humidity in there. Um, this can come off very quickly. It's easily uh, replaced if it's okay. Um, and replaced altogether if it's, if it's not. But it's, it works quite well. Now, I don't disturb it very often. That's lost a leaf. Well, fair enough, it wasn't looking great before. Um, but there's no sign of any anything ill with that. And just looking, I don't know how well this is going to show up, but looking in there, there's some signs of an extension of what I think is uh, when it grows will turn into a flower spike. Now, let me have a look and see how we're doing for... Ah, oh, I need zooming out a bit. Excuse me. Right, that's, that'll be a bit better. Hope that other one was okay. Um, but this one is uh, hmm, bracky something or other. I'll have to have a look. But this is looking very nice. And lo and behold, what have we got here? We've got a new growth. And that's very unexpected. Really wasn't uh, expecting that at all. Um, I've been very nervous with it. They're just being um, watered when the moss gets up, you know, quite dry. It's still not uh, really needing anything doing with it. But the fact that it's put another growth up um, pleases me no end. And lo and behold, we've got another one on this one. This is uh, Cuprea. Um, and, and that is coming up nicely. So, all in all, I'm extremely pleased with um, the Restrepias and what they're doing. Um, and as I say, all I've got to do is just slide that back on. And... Assuming it will go back fairly well, which it will. There we go. Job done. This is um, Hilda Poxon. It's a dendrobium hybrid, a primary hybrid. 
and I deflashed some seedlings of these very nearly two years ago and it just kind of emphasises how long it takes to get orchids from seed into anything like flower inside and this is the one that's doing best so this year this is the this is the first one to show um, larger development of pseudobulbs which that one did and the next bulb which is this one you've got a nice long leaf and you've got another nice long leaf coming in there so this one at two years old still a very long way away from flowering size because this I believe has some quite tall canes when it's mature but that at least shows that's that's growing and doing okay now I brought that out because these are the cattleya seedlings which I um, deflasked about two months ago um, again let's try zooming that in a bit so we can see a little better we sorry how are we doing so that's in an absolutely standard um, garden center um, cultivation uh, tray I see um, and again it's it's on wet gravel it started off with this vent closed and now it's been it's fully open so it, they are starting to see a lot less humidity and because it's cooling down and it's still at quarter to three in the afternoon 70 percent humidity in here today i'm going to actually take that lid off um, and expose them to the atmosphere for the first time um, which hopefully will dry up some of this water and get rid of some of this black algae that's forming but uh, and again let's zoom that back out again so you can see what we're doing they're growing there's no signs of any um, mold or anything like that uh, we've got some roots starting to go down so I think the bigger ones are all doing quite nicely even the smaller ones are looking okay and we've even got if you can see very carefully down there something that looks a bit like a new growth or it might even just be something that's sorted itself out but we've got something there that's looking okay now there were some very small plants that I put in moss and these I haven't done as well that one has died I think um, oh, some of its leaves aren't looking very good but those leaves interestingly were up against the the side of the pot um, there are leaves which weren't against the pot which is still okay looking at it um, I don't know what that is that certainly isn't a, a cat there so that can come out but overall even those are looking okay same with this one we've got plants there's, there's a little bit of a root showing there but they're doing okay so that's just a bit of progress give you a feel for what's happening in the um, less obvious fringes of the of the uh, conservatory at the moment i hope that's of interest and i'll uh, look forward to seeing you soon bye